Welcome to Aurora Chemistry for everyone. In this video, we go to discuss the writing formula for potassium tetrachloride palladate 2. To write any formula for coordination compounds, certain rules are there, we need to follow the rules. As per the rules, first identify the central atom, then identify the ligands, enclose the coordination entity in square brackets. If it is a neutral one, then the charges must be balanced. If you look at that our given compound. You can find out that from the name itself, palladium is the central atom and it is also present in that plus 2 oxidation state. The word palladate shows that here this complex ion, that means this coordination entity is an anionic complex. Chlorido is a anionic ligands, then there are 4 chloride groups present, that means ligands. Potassium is a counter ion. So, we can write now the symbol of palladium PD. It is a central atom. Then the word tetra shows that there are four chloride groups present. Then as per the rules, we have to enclose with square brackets. Then potassium is a counter ion. It is a cation. So, the cation must be written first. So, we could write cation that means symbol of potassium K. Now, how do you find out that how many number of potassium is present? For that, we are going to use that oxidation state of palladium that is plus 2. So, we can write plus 2 oxidation state then plus chlorine minus 1 charge, there are 4 chloride ions are present as a ligand. So, plus 2 then plus minus 4 minus 2. It means this complex anionic complex carries minus 2 charge. Since it is a neutral atom, this counter ion also should carry plus 2 charge. Then there must be the presence of 2 potassium counter ion. So, we could write K2. So, K2 PdCl4 is the formula for potassium tetrachloride palladate 2. Thanks for watching.